You're watching an amazing podcast from an amazing podcast company. Hello, Mob Associates. I'm Johnny Ciccatelli. Welcome to another edition of Youngstown Mob Talk. As you can tell, uh, my partner in true crime, Jimmy Naples, is not here again today. Uh, he's busy working, but don't worry. Uh, I'm not flying totally solo today. I will be joined by a very special guest. Uh, first, though, I just want to thank you for being a part of the Youngstown Mob Group. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're not a member of the Youngstown Mob Group, you, you're going to want to join that. So please join the Youngstown Mob Group. We're almost up to 28,000 members, so we're growing, guys. It's going to be great. We got a lot of cool stuff coming your way. You know, we've got a big show coming up in February. Uh, later this month, November 30th, we're going to be at Cut and Toast, a uh, premium cigar shop in Struthers, doing a mob talk with cigars. That's going to be real fun. Jimmy and I smoking some stogies, talking mob stuff. Um, you know, big shout out to our sponsors, of course, Cut and Toast, but also Pro Team Auto Sales uh, on South Avenue in Youngstown. If you're looking for a car or, you know, a motorcycle or, or anything like that, get a hold of the guys at Pro Team Auto Sales. Uh, they'll treat you right. So, you know, I mentioned a little earlier that we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be talking to a special guest today. Uh, he, he's a friend of mine. We go back a few years. Um, he's also a, a true crime aficionado. He's got, you know, a lot more cred than I do, actually. He's, he's a former police officer uh, turned author. And uh, his family's also got a long mafia history in the Northeast Ohio area. I'm um, talking about, of course, Rick Perello. Uh, we're going to get into his new book and some of the stuff that we've been working on together and stuff coming up for you. Uh, there's a great contest you're going to want to pay attention to as well. Um, but before we get into all that, again, you know, I just want to shout out our sponsors. Thank you so much to Cut and Toast and Pro Team Auto Sales. Uh, without our sponsors, we really wouldn't be able to do this show and and maintain this group as 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 much as we do so you know big shout out to our sponsors and thank you so much all right now i'm joined by claimed true crime author former cleveland area cop police chief up in lynnhurst now retired full-time author movie producer uh true crime pioneer the one the only rick perello rick thanks for wow. joining me wow stretch it out there what, a, what an introduction thanks johnny it's good to be with you yeah, so for those of you who don't know, uh, Rick and I are part of a team putting together a new show. Uh, should be out around Christmas time this year. Uh, it's called The Vice Squad, and that'll be you know a podcast for you guys uh, detailing a lot of the true crime history from Youngstown, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, all that that whole area um, from as early as the 1920s and up. And you know we'll we'll uh, explore a lot of different stuff. It's myself. Rick, Vince Guerrero, another very talented writer, and Jimmy Naples, uh, who, who, you know, if you watch this channel, you're you're very familiar with Jimmy. So, uh, yeah, very excited to get that out, guys. And 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 Rick, I can't wait for people to check this show out. I'm 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 real excited. Yeah, and I'm glad that I was invited to be part of it. So thank you for that. Uh, make my uh, yeah, of course, uh, my small contribution. Oh no, don't don't sell yourself short. Your episodes are great. And, you know, Vince Guerreri narrates that show. He really brings it to life. So I can't wait for, for you to see. I know you, have, you haven't even seen the episodes yet, so right. I can't wait for everybody to see it. And, uh, again, that will be out later this year called The Vice Squad uh, right around the new year. But today we're here to talk about a brand-new book. Um, it's, it's the true story of a mafia associate and a cop who emerges suspected serial killers, uh, written by Rick Perello, just recently released. It's called... Uh, there's more bodies out there. You can check that out for some really cool cover work. Uh, Rick, tell me a little bit about uh, your new book. Yeah, so if anyone is, uh, you know, thinking that title is grammatically incorrect, they, they are they are right. But that was a quote by the uh, main character. His name is Richard Henkel, uh, better known as Dick Henkel, in the Pittsburgh and uh, Mahoning Valley, Youngstown, Warren area. And uh, he was basically, I would describe him as a mobbed up serial killer. And that quote, there's more bodies out there, came from him to a uh, homicide detective at some point in the, uh, the story. And it has been a, uh, a crazy journey with all of the research that I've done, uh, meeting with um, 
uh, Bob Payne, who was the chief of police in the borough of Edgewood in Pittsburgh, who at the time during the story, which takes place in the uh, the uh, mostly in the mid to mid 70s to uh, mid 80s. He was the uh, uh, primary uh, homicide detective on the case. So I spent a day with him, been digging through a lot of records. And uh, as you know, Johnny, I also had the opportunity. I took a shot and I um, contacted Mr. Henkel uh, and asked him if he would uh, answer some questions for me and, and uh, uh, participate kind of in a back and forth thing. And at first he, uh, he declined. And I asked him if I could check back with him, in with him uh, after about six months uh, and, and ask him again. And he said that would be fine. And, uh, you know, I persisted. And, and sure enough, when I went back after six months, I told him what I had uncovered. I gave him a list of initial questions. And I think it piqued his interest. And uh, we have been uh, corresponding back and forth for uh, over almost a year now. And he is in, uh, he is in prison. He's in prison for life. He's in his 80s, and it has been uh, he, he's been pretty forth uh, uh, forthright and and uh, and open and in his um, answering my questions. Uh, as you can guess, uh, me having had a career in law enforcement, I ax I, I pushed a little bit, but he uh, he he gets to a certain a certain line that he doesn't you know he doesn't step over. But it's it's been interesting to say the least. Yeah, it's always interesting when uh, you're corresponding with somebody you know, locked up for, for murder and, and, and just, you know, on the other side there where it's an, it's always an interesting relationship. Having had that relationship myself, um, I can tell you, you know, I, I know exactly what you mean when you, you, you ask, you go as far as you can, you push as much as you can, but obviously you don't want, uh, you don't, at, at any time they can just stop communicating right. you back. You, you don't want to turn them off. You don't want to turn them off. You, you've had the, um, the uh, advantage of, of, of them opening up and agreeing to talk to you. So you know that there's a certain line that you can't push over. And of course, the other part we, we've discussed uh, before is there's a, uh, there's a bad cop involved. Uh, he was be, uh, believed by the, by the investigators back then to possibly be involved in some of the murders that uh, uh, were uh, attributed to, to Dick Henkel. Uh, and uh he, he was never indicted for uh, murder. He worked for a Pittsburgh uh, borough. His name was Gary Small. He was a, a Vietnam decorated Vietnam vet, and he was a uh, respected uh, but quiet police officer, did his job in the borough of Edgewood, and uh, was, was uh, you know, known to be associated with Dick Henkel. Uh, he did lose his job. He tried to get it back uh, and was not successful. Uh, and again, wasn't indicted for any of the murders, but did did get into some uh, get, did get into some problems with the law um, a little bit later. Well, there's uh, if for anybody here, if you're watching this in the Youngstown Mob Group, you know Dick Hinkle's story. He's he's a Pittsburgh-based guy, Pennsylvania-based guy, but he does has a lot of connections to the Mahoning Valley yep. and and Youngstown. So you're going to see a lot of names in the book that. Obviously, you'll recognize, um, you know, the J Jimmy Prado, Joe DeRose, for, you know, the Carabias. You're going to see those names show yeah. up in the book. He was, he was uh, pretty close to Joe DeRose Jr., as you know, Johnny. He was pretty close to Joe DeRose. Yeah. And uh, it's even believed by some of the investigators that he may have been involved uh, with some of the uh, murders that, uh, that Joe DeRose Jr. was suspected of being involved in. So, uh, and, and I first heard about him just briefly. I first heard about him when I was writing my book, Super Thief, uh, about Phil Christopher, mm -hmm. the Cleveland mob associate and, and master burglar, um, uh, Pittsburgh mob associate. And he mentioned uh, first meeting Dick Henkel, I think, at Joe DeRose Jr.'s apartment. So that's when I first heard about it. And um, like I said, it's just been, it's just a, one of the crazier stories that I've, uh, that I've <laughs> worked on. Yeah, and you know, for anybody who's not familiar with Joe DeRose, obviously he was a uh, a, a hitman, um, kind of you know a mob figure in Youngstown for years, and started kind of rising, um, got a reputation as being kind of a wild card. Um, kind of Joey Naples and his crew were against him at one point. Uh, they put a contract out on him, and he was believed to have been working with the Carabias. And he was suspected in a few murders, as Rick just mentioned, 
um, guys like uh, Peeps Canonico and um, Jack Tobin. Those those are some of the some some of the killings he was a suspect in for a long time. He was a suspect in um, Dominic Senzarino's killing, mm -hmm. but uh, it turned out that it was another guy, another crabby associate there uh, named Robert Dorler. Um, so. Yeah, Joe DeRose, a uh, big, you know, big figure in the Crooked City podcast that we ended up doing. He, he uh, you know, they, the mob tried to kill him. They actually killed his father first on, on accident. They shot his girlfriend. You know, he had, he had a crazy kind of uh, Danny Green uh, type experience almost, you know, where they, they just tried a few times to get him and they couldn't get him. And finally they yeah, did. But, and, and during that uh, time, Johnny, you know, he, uh, Joe DeRose Jr. was hiding out uh, at um dick henkel's place in pittsburgh so i yeah. think they kind of you know went back and forth when they uh when the, it got a little too hot they would uh hide out at each other's uh homes you know for anybody who doesn't know rick's work uh obviously his, his big one was the to kill the irishman which was turned into a great movie check that out it's streaming you know watch that movie but yeah as well the as book. It's, on, it's on netflix too which is kind of cool it is it is yeah. very very popular on netflix which I, i'm happy to see yeah. uh and but he's also written some several other books you know uh bombs bullets and bribes the shondor burns story uh the rise and fall of the cleveland mafia one well, of the corn sugar wars right and correct me if i'm if yeah, i'm rise uh, and fall butchering your titles yeah. here yep. yeah rise and fall of the cleveland now, mafia. that was about you know, my uh my grandfather and three uncles who were killed during prohibition, which of course is what got me interested in this whole, this whole sus, uh, subject. So the, there's more bodies out there. That's his new book. That's the one we're talking about right now. It's available now. Where can people get the book, Rick? I always tell people go to your favorite, uh, brick and mortar bookstore or your neighborhood bookstore, either, um, see if they have it Call for, see if they have it in stock, or you could probably order it through them. Uh, and of course, if you're if you're an online um, uh, purchaser, uh, BarnesandNoble.com, and of course the big one, Amazon.com, it's available in Kindle. I think it's released December first. You could pre-order it now, and the paperback is actually available uh, right now. And as I said, we're going to be giving away a couple of uh, copies uh, for the Youngstown for your Youngstown uh, uh, Facebook group, Youngstown Mob Group. Yeah. Yeah, very excited for that, folks. If if you're uh, if you're watching this, if you're watching this on YouTube, better join the the Youngstown Mob Facebook group to be eligible to win. We're gonna give a couple copies away of There's More Bodies Out There. So we'll announce that next week. We'll, this contest, we'll we'll get it going next week. Uh, we'll announce the details, but you can win a copy of Rick's new book. There's more bodies out there. Um, and you know, right here on, and just being a part of the group and watching our stuff. So yeah, I was going to say when, when you have the, uh, winners, they could contact me and I'll be happy to, uh, assign it or personalize it. Or if they want to make it a gift, you know, it's, we're getting into the holiday season. I could do that and then get it shipped right out. Oh, wow. Me. That's very cool guys. So there you go. You're going to want to, you know, definitely stay tuned next week when we announce those contest details. How cool would that be? I mean, for any true crime aficionado to get a copy of this book, you know, signed by a guy of Rick's stature, trust me. I mean, this is something, you know, you're not going to get anywhere else. So, you know, definitely stay tuned next week. We'll give you a copy of that we'll, 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 we'll give you the rules, how you can win a copy of this book. Um, again, we've got the vice squad podcast coming out soon. Uh, should be here by the end of the year. And next year, actually, early next year, Rick's going to join myself and Jimmy Naples uh, out in, in Warren, Ohio. We're going to do a show, a Youngstown Mob Talk show at the Robbins Theater. So tickets are on sale for that. Uh, can't wait to, to do all this stuff. And Rick, thanks for, for just being a part of everything, man. We, we really appreciate, uh, you know, having somebody of your stature on board and, you know, working with you has been great. And, and uh, you know, you and I have had a, a, a relationship, you know, for years now. Uh, you know, I tell people, I always tell people when I, when I first moved to LA, um, you know, I, I picked up, that was where I first picked up the book, kill the Irishman. And I approached my friend, boom, boom, Mancini. And I said, Hey, we should make this into a movie. And he reached into a drawer and he pulled out a script and he threw it on the desk and it was already written. The script was already written and it was well into, into development by that point. And, and I kept, you know, year after year, I kept thinking, well, how come this movie's not been made yet? What's yeah. going on here? 
but uh, I'll, I'll give Tommy Reed all the credit there. He was tenacious, and he never he, let those rights go because I inquired he, about him a few times. Yeah, he he, he really is. He's a very ambitious uh, a producer and uh, Code Entertainment, Jonathan Hensley. And I think they did a wonderful job. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, I mean, it's, to a degree, it's the Hollywood version of the uh, story. But, of course. Uh, check it out if you haven't. Kill the Irishman. It's on, uh, it's on Netflix showing now. Yeah, and and again, Rick's other books are out there. They're they're very great guys. I, I highly recommend them. And if you're in the the Youngstown Mob group, they're uh, they're right up your alley. So you know, Rick's the perfect guy. And and for our our friends in the Pittsburgh Mob group, uh, we'll announce something as well coming out soon. You know, this contest we'll do one in there as well. So uh, if you're a member of both groups, you got both chances to win. There you go. So all right, Rick, we'll let you go. Thanks for your time. And once again, one more time. Um, you know, the, the name of the book, it's called There's More Bodies Out There. And, uh, you know, Rick, do you have uh, anything else you want to, you know, plug or push before you get out of here? Well, I've got three book signings coming up. If anyone's in the Cleveland area, uh, you could tune into my Facebook page or my website, rickparello.com. Uh, the first one's December 3rd in uh, at Max Bax, uh in Cleveland Heights. And then uh, what else? I think January 13th, I'll be at the Music Box Theater discussing the whole story and how I um, approached uh, Dick Henkel and, and, you know, having communicated with him. But, uh, you know, my Facebook page, uh, Rick Perello, I think it's author, writer, I'm not absolutely sure. And then and then uh, my website, rickperello.com. They can get more information there. So I appreciate Fantastic. everyone's interest. And, and Johnny, it's been great working uh, with you and the, and the uh, Vice Squad team. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it so much. And all right, everybody, stay tuned. Like I said, next week, we're going to release the details for that. Uh, once again, thanks for joining us, Rick. Thank you. All right. That was Rick Perello. Again, good friend of mine. Can't wait to uh, to start this contest and give out a couple of these books. You know, we'll release the details of this contest next Monday. Uh, you're going to want to check that out, everybody. So we'll have uh, good chances uh, for, for you to win and, you know, help grow the group in the process. Um, if, if you're, if you've got some friends or family out there from Youngstown, Mahoning Valley, uh, maybe they're, you know, mob aficionados themselves or just true crime junkies, please refer them to our group and our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash amazing podcast company. We're always trying to, to make new, you know, compelling content for you. We're working on a lot of stuff. As we mentioned in that interview, the vice squad, it's coming out great. I can't wait to share that with you guys. Uh, so much more we're working on right now. Um, some other true crime shows as well. So please, you know, continue your support. We we really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I know I'm speaking on behalf of of my, my partner, Jimmy Naples, as well. Uh, again, he couldn't be here today, but he will be back next week. We're doing a, a mob talk with cigars from one of our sponsors, Cut and Toast. That's 160 Lowville Road in Struthers, Ohio. Uh, please join us if you're around Struthers, around the Youngstown area. That's Wednesday, November 30th. Uh, we'll be out there. So, you know, come out, check us out, come meet us, come talk, you know, tell us what you want to talk about in future episodes, what you want us to explore, and come check out uh, their, their, their selection of premium cigars. Really cool, guys. Uh, and also, again, one more shout out to our other sponsor, Pro Team Auto Sales. We really appreciate it. Jeff and the crew there on south avenue uh if you're looking for a ride they'll take really good care of you so again that's going to do it for today everybody i'm johnny Ciccatelli. Uh, until next time ciao that was an amazing podcast from an amazing podcast company for more subscribe to our channel at youtube.com amazing podcast company